Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, America's favorite genie, James Monroe <laughs> Igohart is joining me, although you're not a genie anymore. No, not anymore, not anymore. Yeah, now yeah. I'm a founding father. Yeah, you decided to join this little-known show. You may have heard of it, Hamilton, I think? Yeah, not many people know about it. It's, it's, yeah. it's really struggling. It's really doing its best to try to get its feet, <laughs> you know, in New York City. Congratulations, Thank man. You, you win a Tony for playing a genie in Aladdin. Now yes. you join Broadway's biggest show, potentially of all time. Yes. Pretty cool, right? I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the life right now. Life is pretty cool. I won't <laughs> lie about that. You're going to be playing Thomas Jefferson in the Marquis. Talk Lafayette. to me about the, the Lafayette. Talk to me about this dual role that you're going to be joining with Jefferson. It with is. Hamilton. It is the. Uh, it's a really, really fun role to play because in the first act you're playing the Marquis de Lafayette, who was a general, and he's French with uh, George Washington. He's actually one of the main reasons that we won the war. Thank you, Marquis de Lafayette. <laughs> and uh, I also get one of the. Fa I actually do get the fastest rap in the show in both acts. So guns and ships uh, with Lafayette, and then um, with uh, Washington on your side is Thomas Jefferson. I get one of the fastest raps in that one. And the second act, I play, you know, our third president, Mr. Thomas Jefferson, which is all all kinds of fun. So I get to fight with Hamilton for an hour, which is great. How hard is the rapping? I've talked to the original cast all about this, but like David is a rapper, Lin Manuel is pretty much a rapper. But when you come from doing the genie stuff and you have to essentially do these fast raps, how tough is it? Fun fun fact, um, I'm a rapper. Get Can, out of here! No, I'll let you know. There's a group called Freestyle Love Supreme which is a hip-hop improv group, and those members just happen to be the Tony Award-winning David Diggs, Lynn manuel Miranda, Chris Jackson, Shockwave Sullivan, the beatboxer, and myself and a couple other brothers, uh, Bill Sherman from Sesame Street, Jelly Donut, Anthony Veneziali. All of us are in the same group. We're a part of the same group. So we've been rapping together uh, for about seven years. Get so out I, of here. So I rapped with those guys. Plus, I was a part of uh, Lynn's original concert at Lincoln Center. I played Hercules Mulligan, so I was rapping with him then. So we all do freestyle rhymes before uh, In the Heights and, um, while, while In the Heights, they were working on In the Heights and In the Heights and Hamilton happened. So um, I was a part, like I said, I was part of the original concert. I left to go do Aladdin. That blew up to do what it went to do. And then they asked me to come back. So I've been rapping, freestyle rapping since I was 10 years old. So most people don't know that because I didn't do it in Aladdin, but yes, I've been rapping for years. So that rap part was uh, pretty, pretty cool to be able to jump back into. You know, I'm not going to let you off easy with that. Now I've got to hear you drop some. I need, I need to hear you spit something. I, I, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let me look, look around the room a little bit. So. <laughs> Coming through as a stroker in the office of Al Roker, looking all around the rooms of the things and being stoked about the fact that Warner Brothers cartoons is on the wall. Every little cell I see having the ball from Batman to Superman to Cool Adam West. And who you talking to? The J.A. in the yes. Now, I was a genie and I only won a Tony, but not the only thing I do, homie. You see, also, I'm in a show that people are all rattling. Yes, I'm one of the stars of the brand new show, Hamilton. Is it brand new or really doesn't really matter? People look at me and don't realize that I was really a rapper from the age of 10 and all the way to now with 42 I'm kicking rhymes in this house no you got the mic and I'm freestyling off the top of the dome and that's how I do it that's how I roll this interview's over that's, that's too much are you kidding me you just came up with that yes holy crap that was awesome <laughs> thank you very much Go see Hamilton. That's, I don't even need to interview him. That there's your there's your plug right there. Oh my god. Did you have any idea being friends with Lynn this long when he was creating Hamilton that it would become what it became? I knew it would be a hit. Did we know it was going to be a national phenomenon? No. Did we know it would be strong enough to keep someone on currency? No. Did we realize that uh, people in other countries would kill themselves to come over here to learn about our history, our history? No, I did not. Um, but did I think it was going to be a hit? Yes. Um, the boy is extremely talented and he wrote something great. We all loved the music. We all knew it was good. We just didn't know it was going to capture a nation. And when it did, it couldn't have happened to a better guy. He's the nicest guy in the world. The whole original cast, I've known them for years. They are the sweetest people. And the cast that's in it now are some hungry, wonderful actors who are doing a great job with the piece. Brian Victor Dixon, um, as uh, as Burr, Javier, who was a wonderful and amazing talent, as Hamilton, Brian Terrell Clark as George Washington, myself, uh, J. Quentin Johnson as Mulligan, uh, you know, you have Mandy Gonzalez, you have Lexi, you have Alicia. We have an, a fantastic cast of people who um, are still bringing it to life every single night. One, because we love the show, and two, we want, because the, the reputation of the show is so great, we don't want anybody to be disappointed. So when they come, we don't want them to go, oh, well, I've heard this CD and I hope they're 
they're good. No, we're going to be good. You're going to have a good time. You're going to leave saying, damn, this show is exactly as good or better than I thought it was because that's how we all feel about it. We all It's like a championship belt. Like in wrestling, you have to defend it. <laughs> so we are defending the belt of what, you know, what Hamilton is, and that's what we do. I decided for kicks to jump on a couple websites and see, is it easier to get tickets for Hamilton now? And you still can't get tickets for Hamilton. No. Do you? So when you join the show and it gets announced, does everybody come out of the woodwork and start hitting you up for tickets? Put it this way, uh, my mother's dentist called. <laughs> no, no I'll just leave way. it at that. I'll leave it at that. My mother's dentist <laughs> called. I would be leveraging the heck out of it all. It, 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 it's one of those things. Well, the great thing is I don't have to. I don't have to try to you know lie or go. Oh, I wish I could. No, I just can't. I mean, nobody. You can, if you yes, you can get in, but you know it is a hard ticket to get in. But it's. I will say this. It's worth it. It is worth it. It is it's worth the ticket I, to come see the show. I would literally be like on my Facebook, like if you want Hamilton tickets, I need X Y. I would let <laughs> new car, no, no, new car, I, new house. You know, it, it's 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 funny because I don't I don't I, I I trust me the the dark the dark side of the force has <laughs> talks to me, but I, I'm such a trained Jedi. I'm like no 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 no. Be good. Be nice. Use use the force for good. I I I, I try to if I can help someone, I will. But um, it's it is a hard ticket to get in. But I will say our fans are some of the strongest and most loyal fans in the world. They will stand outside waiting for tickets, and when they get in, they are so appreciative, which is another reason why we have to give the best show possible. Because if you're going to stand outside for hours, we better give you something. We better give you a reason to stand outside. You are such a unique talent, and you have such a unique look. So when you win that Tony for Aladdin, and you gave that speech that was heard around the world, does Hollywood come calling at that point? Are you getting movie roles, TV roles? Like, do people uh, start saying, wow, we may have never heard of this guy. I want to put him here or there. Yes and no. Yes, there were a lot of people who, uh, once the Tony happened, a lot of people, uh, a lot of doors opened, which was fantastic. But there is still, you know, people, you know, we're on Broadway here. And so Hollywood still has to get to know some of us. But trust me, it's that will. there is a barrier. There really is a there, barrier. There, there, it's so there, weird. There, there is a little bit, but I think I think what it is is because they 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 know their world and they're in their world. But they have to come over here to see what we do. And once they see what we do, then they start picking people out. I mean, David. Case in point, they saw him on Broadway, bam, picked him up. When I was doing Aladdin, Disney saw it, boom, picked me up. Now I'm one of the voices of the uh, wonderful hit show, Tangled, the animated series. So, uh, you know, that's where uh, I got into um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. That's where Gotham came from. So there are some great things that are that are doors that are happening because of the shows that I'm in. I'm in Hamilton now. There are people who are coming to see that now. So is it's basically you have to get the people there. Once, once Hollywood sees what's happening, then that's when they, they start calling. They're doing the... Aladdin movie right now, yes. and I was just reading, it was originally Kevin Hart, but now it looks like it's going to be Will Smith taking over as Genie. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool to think, right? I think so. I mean, I think, I think, I think uh, Disney has been fantastic to me. They've always been a great family. I'm still, you know, family with them. And um, I, I just want the show, I just want the movie to be good. And uh, Will is a great talent. I've been a fan of his since um, not, I won't say, people say, oh, I've been a fan of his since, um, since Jiggy with it. No, I've been a fan with him since <laughs> he was the Fresh Prince. Not the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the Fresh Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh I Prince. I grew up in Philly, so I know. So, girl, you know, girls of the world ain't nothing but trouble. You know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the Will that I know. And so I've been a fan of them. If he brings, if Will Smith brings that swagger to the genie, He'll be fine. If he brings the Fresh Prince swagger from those original albums, Girls of the World Ain't Nothing But Trouble, um, Parents Just Don't Understand, if he brings that swagger, he's going to be fine. So many people I know over the last several years have all said, we go to see Aladdin because we want to see the genie. You became this almost iconic figure for Broadway playing the genie. Was it tough to walk away from that? Even though Hamilton's such an incredible opportunity but was it tough to walk away from this role that has essentially become iconic on broadway uh yeah a little bit because um it had become my home and you know what it's like when it's hard to walk away from home it's hard when you get comfortable you know everything that you know and love is there and it's hard to it's hard to walk away from it but then you realize there are some other things out there that you may want to try there's other things that you you want people to see you in a different light and as you said GD became an iconic role. And once something is an iconic moment, it's hard to see it as someone else. And so in the words of uh, the great uh, George Washington in Hamilton, he says, you know, um, if I move on, the country learns to move on. 
So I knew I had to step away from GD so that Aladdin could move on without me being the iconic genie. Then the show is about the show. The show isn't about me. The show isn't about the guy playing Aladdin. It's the show. And the show has to be the star. The show has to live on. So the young man playing the genie now, Mr. Major Attaway, is fantastic and wonderful. And you will have a great time when you see him in the role. And um, as it should be, just as you when you go see it on tour or when you go see it in Australia or if you're in Germany or in Japan and you see the show, you're going to have a great time because those guys are fantastic in their roles and it was time for me to move on so that i could show the world that i'm not just the genie that i can do other things and that's that's why i made the made the step i had brandon victor uh, brandon victor dixon was in here recently he's yes. my buddy i love that guy the by the way awesome. we we're talking about diversity on broadway diversity in hollywood in general at least on broadway i feel like we're seeing more diversity right now i think hamilton was obviously an enormous step what more needs to be done right now to get roles for for minorities in Hollywood um and you know what I think what's funny is I think it's happening but things happen things happen slower in Hollywood than they do anyplace else um it's I trust me I love I'm, I'm from the west coast I'm from California and it's you know I so I, I I'm not dissing my own state but when it comes to Hollywood it is a little harder because they're not just representing one part of our great country, whereas New York, we are we're like a we're like a little microcosm. We're like a little boiling pot in our own place. So we can be we can have much diversity because New York City is just like that. That's just you can walk on any street and see everyone, you know, in one place. Hollywood is sending out content to the nation, and as we know, there's some parts of our nation that. Uh, it's hard for them to let go of the old ways. <laughs> this is true. But they are starting to let go of the old ways. And they're starting to see more people that look like me, that look like you, that look like, you know, uh, regular people. Not everybody can be the ab-filled, strong henchman who can hold up 5,000 pounds. Not every woman is a Victoria's Secret model. Personally, I like a woman. Personally, I like a woman with a little meat on her bones. So I don't want to see a Victoria's Secret model. I'd like to see a Lane Bryant model on a, a movie. That's just my style. So I think what's happening is Hollywood is starting to hear what people are saying, and with things like social media, with them seeing where Broadway is going, they are starting to uh, do the same thing. And the great thing about uh, diversity on Broadway is, um, like I said, I have been for working for both companies, for Disney and for Hamilton. And diversity was happening on Broadway back in 1998 when uh, The Lion King came out. People were tripping off the fact that, oh my God, we're doing The Lion King and there's nothing but African African Americans on stage, plus one Asian girl. And then you step up and you've got Tarzan, mostly you got Tarzan, you've got Little Mermaid, you've got Aida. It was always diverse, but what happened was when you get diversity and then you put the music of the nation on the show and you put diversity and hip hop, all of a sudden everybody goes, what is that? And that's when everybody goes, oh, there's diversity on Broadway. Diversity has always been on Broadway. Diversity has always been in New York City. It's just the way this city was built. From Dreamgirls to Little Shop of Horrors to um, to Fosse to even Phantom having uh, the, the black fandom. We have always had diversity on this state, on in this city. Hollywood is just starting to catch up. But trust me, when they catch up, everybody will be equal. And even then, no offense to Hollywood, New York will find something else that we're doing before everybody else. Dude, you're freaking, <laughs> all I'm gonna say is you're freaking awesome. Everybody make sure to check out this extraordinary talent, James Monroe Iglehart in Hamilton on Broadway. Check him out.